AITA for telling my wife to stop using her pregnancy as an excuse? I, a 28M, am married to my wife, 28F, and she is 6 months pregnant. After college, she didn't really find a job, but it was fine because I made enough to support both of us. We pretty much split the household chores 50 50 but it soon became 70 30 with me taking 70% of the chores. She would often say, carrying your child is a 24-hour job, and would often say that pregnancy is extremely dangerous, citing my mother's death due to childbirth complications. Around the time we found out that we were pregnant, I started having severe lower back pain to the point where I would curl up on the floor crying in pain. On top of that, I developed a persistent cough that sometimes turned into coughing fits. At first, I thought I was just getting older, and it wasn't particularly out of the ordinary as 14 years of ballet had taken a toll on my body. But it soon became unbearable, and I would come home from work dreaming of just melting into the couch with my heating blanket, but I couldn't. Instead, I had to be a personal chef for my wife, cooking dinner for her. I have always cooked for her ever since we were dating, but now on top of that, I had to walk the dog, mop the floor, do the laundry, and clean the bathroom. I suggested that we hire a housekeeper to help with some of the cleaning, but she refused, saying that she didn't want strangers in our house. So I gave in and continued doing most of the chores, and I started wishing that I could become pregnant instead of her. She didn't even notice that I was in a lot of pain, and she would often complain that the ointment I used to soothe my muscles made her nauseous, to my knowledge, she has never experienced morning sickness, but I gave in and stopped applying the ointment. However, I did ask her to help me with some knots in my back, and she would often say, I'll help you later, but never really did. I soon started resenting her in her early second trimester. One day, I woke up with a sore throat and a phlegmy cough, but I thought nothing of it and went to work, coughing had become my normal. That night, I came home with a fever of 102 and a pretty nasty headache that made my vision blurry, and my wife demanded I start dinner the second I stumbled through the door. I nodded and reached for the frozen pizza in the freezer, which made her mad. She said I was poisoning her and our child by feeding her processed food. At that point, I suggested ordering in because I was not feeling well. She stormed off, saying, you're not feeling well? Guess what, I'm six months pregnant, and slammed the door to our bedroom. Too tired to beg for forgiveness, I crashed on the couch. The next day, I woke up earlier than usual to make breakfast and pre-made dinner for her and still went to work despite still having a high fever. Lying to her about having a work emergency, I went to my grandparents' place to have comfort food, the food you crave when you are sick. I realized how dumb that was because she had my location and tracked me down. I was at the dining table when she stormed in. She screamed at me for lying. My grandma tried to defend me, saying she needed help changing a light bulb, but it was no use. I apologized, my grandpa handed me some medicine to help with the fever, and I drove both of us home. Once we left their apartment, she snatched the bag of medicine and threw it in the garbage chute. She screamed at me the whole way home, but I remained silent. Once. We got home, I apologized again, but she wouldn't let me in the bedroom, so I was banished to the couch again. I gave up trying to win her over and called in sick the next day. My plan was to sleep in. She woke me up at about 10 the next morning, demanding that I cook her an omelet, and I did. But I requested that she run to the pharmacy because I still had a fever. She refused and called me immature. I finished making her breakfast and took my temperature again. It was now 104. I panicked and called my grandma to drive me to the, um, instead, she took me to a clinic and drove me home two hours later. I took the prescribed medicine and collapsed on our bed for the first time in two days. I slept for another five hours and was woken up by my wife, who was annoyed that I smelled like ointment, my grandma had lathered it on me before sending me home. I mumbled something about my back and turned to the other side of the bed. She then started passive-aggressively spraying me with pillow mist. That was my warning to get into the shower and wash off the ointment. After that, I made her favorite dinner, and we made up. After that incident, I started thinking that she doesn't really care about me. Despite recovering from my cold, my cough got worse. Sometimes I would cough so hard that I would vomit. When my cough became worse, she asked me to start sleeping on the couch in the living room. I agreed, but I was a little upset that she didn't show any concern about my cough, and it feels like my illness is just an inconvenience in her life. My back pain also intensified, but I brushed it off as I assumed it was because I was sleeping on the couch. Whenever I complained about my back, she would say, try being pregnant, and I wanted to scream at her, but I held my tongue. I also started losing weight quickly, but I thought it was due to the promotion to junior associate, which caused me to be pretty burnt out. Last night, I finally snapped. I came home in excruciating agony. It was so bad that the neighbors had to help me get out of my car, pretty embarrassing. I finally got home and fell onto the couch. My wife came out of the shower, saying, what took so long? I'm starving, but all I could muster was, yeah, give me five minutes. Her response was, no, you are starving me and your child. And then I screamed, make yourself a bowl of cereal, stop using your pregnancy as an excuse. She started screaming and crying, demanding me to get out. I have never seen her that hurt before, and now I feel so guilty. I started apologizing while trying to sit up, but she started throwing things at me. I resigned and called my friend to come and get me. Ten minutes later, Jake came to pick me up, and we struggled for another five minutes trying to get me off the couch. Seeing how much pain I was in, he drove me to the, um, and now I am sitting in a hospital bed with an epidural in my back and a fresh diagnosis of stage for lung cancer. I have called my wife more than 20 times, and she won't pick up. I don't know what to do. Should I even tell her, and is it going to stress her out more?